And I'm Anna. And it's our, our birthday. birthday. We are turning two years old today. It's very exciting. I can't even believe we've been on the internet for two years already. So thank you for sticking with us for the past two Definitely. years. And today we're going to throw the most exciting birthday party ever. It's and a you're invited. It's a googly eye birthday party. Googly eye birthday party. And we're going to teach you the crafting later, but we thought today we would start off by showing you how to make a giant Rice Krispie cupcake. Because I didn't want to throw a cake party. I wanted a Rice Krispie party. My kids love Rice Krispies over cake any day. So what I've done is with the, um, Wilton has this great giant cupcake pan, pan cake pan. So I've sprayed it with you know, some good old spray stuff inside here. Some good old spray stuff. And then in a bowl, I've put a half a cup of butter and I mm -hmm. cut up the butter and then I put um, a whole package of marshmallows. And so we're going to go put them in the microwave for one minute. Okay. This is my kind of project because it's easy. Uh oh, here we go again with me trying to do this. Okay, so Megan, you take out the bowl. Now, there's, they're not really done yet. So what I like to do is take them out at the one minute mark and just kind of mix it up a little bit. Okay, so we're oh, just it's starting to melt. It's starting to melt, but the next minute's when the magic really happens. So you can just see that we're kind of getting this all like gooey. So that's good. We're gonna mix, put this back in for one more minute. Okay, I'll do it. Oh, you're gonna do it. Okay, great. While Megan's doing that, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to um, use the rice toasted cereal. You can use any brand you want to. And what I've done is I put six cups of. This is actually like the chocolate type because today we're going to make a two-tone one which is even more exciting yes so i have the six cups of cereal normally i in my microwave at home it's larger so i just have a bigger bowl but in make we're at megan's apartment and she actually doesn't have a very big microwave so we're going to transfer the um marshmallow goop into here and then we're going to stir it oh don't call it marshmallow goop it's gross so megan put your hands out put your hands out i don't even like this part well, this is the best part. This is my little tip for you. When you're working with the marshmallows and you're going to put them in some kind of a mold, you need to put the spray on your hands because your hands get really sticky. So make sure you wipe your hands really good with that. Okay. And we're, I think we're going to do the bottom is the chocolate and the top is the vanilla. Okay. Okay. Stinky, by the way. Well, I know, but it really pays off because then it's not sticking to everything. You should probably clean your hands before you do this. Okay, and we're ready. Now, when this comes out, it's all going to be um, puffed up here. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Woo! That is gorgeous. So what I'm going to do is... Okay, Megan, get ready, because I'm going to dump this into the bowl here. Okay. Oops. Okay, well, we've got a lot of... Didn't do a very good job mixing up my butter and marshmallows, but we'll see how this works out. What am I doing? You're going to, well, no, you don't have to do that yet. I want you to get the mold back over here. Wait, look at you left all this marshmallow. That's goop. really okay. Oops. Go ahead and get the mold over, honey. Ugh. So what I'm doing right now is I am stirring the marshmallow mixture into the cereal. And you do have to move really pretty quick with this. Okay, it is good and mixed in. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put it into the mold or into the cup, the uh, cake yeah, pan. The mold. Okay, now start pressing that down. Okay. You see how it's sticking to Megan's fingers? Okay, and get that all pressed in there. Can you always make me do the dirty stuff? <laughs> it's payback. Okay, so let's put get rest of that in. Okay. And you see, it is helping by having the spray. You have to admit that that does help. Okay, wipe rest of that off the the mold there. <laughs> okay. And then you want to make sure that the key when you're doing this is making sure this is packed down really good and tight. Use the palm of your hands, not your fingers. This way. There. That's a girl. It's like I'm getting CPR here with this cake pan. Uh-oh. Okay, well, all right, you get the idea. So what we're going to do is we're going to stop, and we're going to um, go ahead and do the, um, the regular uh, toast cereal on the other half, and then we're going to let it set. And at the end, we'll come back, and we'll show you how to assemble the whole um, Rice Krispie cake. Okay, it's snack time. Go ahead. Have a good time. 
All right, I've been left with no choice. We're gonna get started making all of our very exciting googly eye products. Clearly, this is a challenge that takes <laughs> practice. Oh, thank you for doing that, Megan, for hum you're, humoring me. You're right. So if you didn't get that already, all the projects we're going to show you for our birthday party are all has to do with googly eyes. And it's all going to be under $25. So for all the supplies that you see here, um, to make all of the different things that we're going to be showing you, you can do it for 25 bucks, and that's including making your Rice Krispie Cupcake. Yes. And all the party supply things, including the googly eyes, the ribbon, the pom-poms and balloons, and paper goods, were all bought at the dollar store. Very nice. So we're going to get started, and we're going to make a happy birthday pennant, which is this banner that we have here behind us that just reads happy B-Day because, let's face it, birthday just has too many letters. And we are using the uh, Hippie Chic line from Die Cuts with a View. Um, they have some really great prints out here in their new line this season. And some of the papers inside this packet include some glitter, so it takes one of the stuffs out. So we're going to um, pick the patterns that we want to mm -hmm. use. And on the website is a downloadable template, and it's very simple. It's just one of these fancy little square triangles. And I should learn my shapes. It's just a pennant shape. The pennant shape. So you're going to go ahead and print this out, cut it out from the template on the computer. You're going to trace it onto the paper of your choice mm -hmm. from the packet, and it's just going to look like this. Yeah. And then, Megan, what I did is I just took, and the marks are on the pennant, just a hole punch on both ends. Right. And then on this one, I don't know if you can see it as well, but there's a little bit of uh, paint along the yep. edge. And so when I was painting the happy birthday, because that's how I did it instead of die cutting letters, which you can do, but I just freeformed happy B day um, with some acrylic paint. Mm -hmm. And then it, all the little dots on there actually use a Q-tip to make the little dots swirl. And then they all have googly eyes. And then put googly eyes on all the different points. And then with the paintbrush, I just along the edges to give it a little just gives a little extra finished. And then to attach them, I use the birthday wire and I oh cute and just added those and you can just so this way you can even personalize do somebody's birthday name or whatever. But like you shouldn't have a long enough wall to put birthday. So okay. Just another dig at my apartment okay. today. <laughs> now another really fun thing I'm gonna have Megan show us is doing balloon uh, balloon or clown feet. I remember having these when the kids were little and when I was younger too. And so I, what I did is I designed a pattern for you to do the little balloon feet. And this is really fun because the kids can make these or your guests can make them and you have the little balloon feet. Golly, that looks like so much fun. So Megan, why don't you show us here again how um, we did this. So again, just like with the template for the uh, pennant, we have a template that my mom has made for you that's downloadable again from the website for these clown feet as well as um, some eye glasses here for our little balloon people. So basically you're going to print them out, cut them out, whatnot, trace them onto the paper of your choice. Again, we're sticking all with the paper from the Hippie Chic line so that everything coordinates and you're just going to cut them out. Now, um, it's probably pretty difficult to see on here, but on your template, right smack in the center, there's sort of going to be like an asterisk and that's where you're gonna cut. You're just gonna cut it like a plus sign. And that's actually going to give you the space to stuff the tied end of your balloon in. So if you look here on the bottom, mm -hmm. and that's what's gonna keep the balloon man attached to his feet. Mm -hmm. So why don't you go ahead and... And then I just glued some pom-poms onto his yeah. little, on his toes. And here again with the little glasses, just cut out the glasses, fold the glasses, just like so. And get our little balloon man out of the way. And to actually attach them on, I have this really f fright of balloons popping, so I just rolled a little bit of masking tape on the back and attached it to my balloon face. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> and then you can hot glue or you can use tacky glue, whatever you want to glue the googly eyes on. There you go. You're good. You're going to show them how to put that on there. So you're just going to fold it in, get it started, and you're just simply going to push the bottom of your balloon through. Make sure it's pulled all the way through so you get it in there nice and tight. Now, if you pull too much, you're going to have the knotted end of your balloon through, and then it's not going to sit up straight. So you want to make sure that you give yourself a little bit of leeway so only the flat part is what's sitting underneath because that's what gives your balloon man balance. It's really fun because it just adds to a great a little extra decoration. So that's our little um, clown balloon funny googly eye guy. Oh, I put the wrong ones on. No, there's no ever, there's never any wrong, you know well, that, These are Megan. the cute ones with the pom-poms. And um, the next thing we're, I want to show everybody is how to do party hats. 
Go for it. So when you go um, to the dollar store or wherever you buy party hats, let me just grab my whole little package of stuff I have already stepped out for you. So as you can see, I just bought, and there were, I believe, eight hats for a dollar. Um, always not really crazy about these prints sometimes, but this makes a, a great base. So what I did is literally took the uh, party hat, opened, took it apart, and here again, traced it onto the cardstock. So see, we have, this is the print I picked out here. You can get two hats out of each 12 by 12 sheet of paper. Mm -hmm. Okay, then after we do that, what you're going to do is you're going to take, there's our little cutout piece here, right? And then we're going to take, excuse me, <laughs> threw the wrong piece down. Here, now you're going to take and you're going to glue this right onto the top. And you notice this has a tab on it. I didn't, um, uh, and cut the tab out. So you're going to put that on, you're going to glue it, and it's going to look like this. And you can use any of the papers you want to use. Here again, here's another one. Okay. And then you're simply going to decorate them. And this is kind of a fun, kind of a fun thing for the party, Megan, is you can put how we have everything out in little bowls. You could have these already pre-done for your guests and let them decorate their own hats when they come to the party. So it just makes it a lot more fun. It's a great interactive, even if you're doing it with adults, it's just a really kind of fun thing to see what they can come up with. And some of the, the hats we have here, maybe just bring these to you to show you have added, um, of course, googly eyes because we know it's a googly eye birthday party. Is yeah. it? I didn't catch that. <laughs> we have, I just put curling ribbon in the top of this one. And um, on this one, you can see I trimmed the whole bottom of the googly eyes to the bottom of the hat. And this one just, I added some ribbon. You want to put this on, Megan? Hang on. No. <laughs> okay. You can put so it on. So you put this on and then you can tie your little party hat. I can't even take you serious with that on. <laughs> so you can see you'd have a lot of fun with your guests coming and doing different things here again. I just repeated the wire at the top, the curly wire. And on this one, this is a princess one. I think this one's kind of fun. Oops. This one, um, I just added some long curly ribbon and here again, some pom-poms with googly eyes. And I use, McGill has this great ribbon punch and I use the ribbon punch along the edges and just strung the ribbon through. <laughs> Oh, his eyeballs fell off. Well, because you have I to. I didn't let his glue set. Oh, you can't glue it onto the balloon, honey. You have to use a tape. So the, the next hat I'm going to show you, Megan's still having too much fun with that one, is these little tiaras that you get for um, New Year's, right? You mm -hmm. get these. Mm -hmm. They do sell them actually all year round. So what I did for you is here again, I designed you another pattern. It's a little, um, little crown tiara pattern because I really didn't like these. They're kind of, you know, whatever, too New Year's Eve looking. Really all I want is the headband, so I removed this. Go ahead and trace your pattern onto the cardstock, cut it out. And then what you're going to do after is, here again, I glue some pom-poms with the little googly eyes at the top. And you're going to just fold your tabs like so. And then you can either staple or glue them to the headband, just like that. That's so super simple. Okay, so you see how fun it is to make these little tiaras. Megan, what are you doing over there? Wait, wait for it. Oh my God. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> okay, you see this is a great fun project to have all these, the glasses cut, googly eyes, pom poms out, all this stuff. Okay, we need to do our last project, okay? And then we can get, because our party guests are gonna be here soon and we need to be ready to go, okay. So. All right, I'll pay attention. Thank you. So what we're going to do is we're going to jazz up these paper plates because I can't really put googly eyes on these plates and then serve food on them. Right. So what I've done is I've taken the uh, a circle, cut a circle of the scrapbook paper out using a little bowl of the same the circumference of the center of the plate. Bye, my friend. And then I glued the googly eyes to the center of the plate. Oh, and cute. And I found these little plastic plates are just the right size and they fit right on top. Cool. So your guests can serve their food and have little googly eyes looking at them at the end. Oh my gosh, that's funny. I went like this. I was like, oh, uh-huh. <laughs> Couldn't you hear my head? And then we have one last surprise for you. Oh, okay, ready? Whatever. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> so if you, I don't know if you can see that good. Megan's referencing it. <gasps> I put glued googly eyes on the ends of the party blowers. 
So this is just really a fun googly eye birthday party. Oh, I almost ran out of breath. We need to go get all this stuff set up because our party guests are coming soon to help us celebrate our party. Oh, but we have to show how to do the cake. I know, I'm like, hello, we can't have a party if I'm okay. so mom. We're gonna um, get set up to show you the cake and we'll be right back. Okay, Meg, we've got everything else ready. Our guests are coming soon. Our Rice Krispies are set up, so we're gonna go ahead and put it together. Um, you wanna loosen around the edges of the cake pan a little bit with a knife. And then I just like to put a, some kind of a board over the top and just a good pound. And whoa, whoa, a laugh. Oh, it's a live one. And so now I'm going to put it on this tray. And this too, this tray is just a really cool tray for, for a dollar at the dollar store. Now, the more you pound it, the better the you're going to get on your details. The, the details, right? right. And so when you're going to take, take this, um, you could also put just a little bit of canned frosting so it doesn't bottom, so yeah so if you're traveling with it that's what i would do if you're taking it to somebody's house i'm just gonna sit this piece right here like and so. then put canned frosting in between the two pieces yeah too. yeah but this is still pretty sticky we could have let it set up a little bit longer so it may just stick right together and then if you have candy sprinkles sometimes i like to just sprinkle some candy sprinkles and we have these nifty little two-year-old birthday candles Oh, wait a minute, we have to add to that. I was going to say, you got to put some googly eyes on there. we got to add some googly eyes. Of course, here again, I would um, definitely uh, frost those. All right, so even though our guests aren't here yet, we have to get ourselves a special pat on the back and blow these out for our second birthday. So, happy, happy birthday. birthday! And, you know, we always say when creativity, creativity knocks, open, open the, the door! door.